Okay, so a question that will happen on a test is it will say, determine all the possible rational zeros. That's literally probably how it's going to say. Determine all the possible rational zeros. So to do that, you have to use the rational zero test. So the rational zero test is pretty simple. The rational zero test is basically the factors of p over q. So to understand what p and q are, p is always going to be your constant of your polynomial, always. Q is always going to be your leading coefficient. And then all you do is you write down all the factors. So for instance, we've talked about 12 so far in this class, right? What were all the factors of 12? 12, 6, 4, 3, and 2, right? Those are all the factors of 12, all numbers that divide into 12. Well, in this example, we have 15. So what we're going to do for p over q is we're going to list all the factors of 15. So you're going to use plus or minus as well. So it's going to be plus or minus 15, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 1. Does everybody agree with me? Yes? No? You guys OK with that? All over the factors of 1. Well, that's pretty easy, right? 1 is just 1. Then all we do is we list every single factor of p over every single factor of q. Okay, So my possible rational zeros is going to be plus or minus 15 over 1, plus or minus 5 over 1, plus or minus 3 over 1, plus or minus 1 over 1. Well, that simplifies to plus or minus 15, comma, plus or minus 5, comma, plus or minus 3, comma, plus or minus 1. Now, can I just throw a wrench in this real quick, just because 